to bring greetings on behalf of the province. Thank you very, very much, Kevin. Uh, thanks to you and your team as well for the invitation to join you this morning. It's an honour for, for me to be here at a, such a special occasion as this, the grand opening of this amazing facility. I uh, want to acknowledge uh, the company that I'm in in terms of, uh, uh, of well, the job that we're, some of us are applying for here in a little while. We have Don Morgan uh, with us today as well as Gord Wyant. Uh, it's good to see you gentlemen here at your worship. Uh, it's good to see you uh, as well again. This city uh, is, uh, well, frankly, it's a beacon of progress and growth in terms of the entire country. Uh, in many respects, it's leading the nation in growth this, among, among Canadian cities. And it, it's in no small measure due to the leadership that the, this community has. Uh, and, uh, and, and lots of credit goes to you, Your Worship. Uh, it's good to see you again. I want to thank Kevin and uh, Amy. Darwin and, and Glenn again for the chance to, to be here today. Back in 2008 when we celebrated Sarkhan's 20th anniversary, I was at the facility that we have in Swift Current. It's a great facility there. I, uh, you know, we, our family obviously is uh, our, our, our customers, utilizers of that particular facility and I had the honor of recycling Sarkhan's four billionth container. That was 2008. Kevin says we're at five, about five and a half billion containers now. That is more than just a milestone, ladies and gentlemen. That's evidence of just how successful this made in Saskatchewan organization has become. Sarkhan's success is about so much more than beverage container collection or its program with respect to recycling oil or any of the other recycling initiatives. This is an organization that is built on a commitment not just to conservation and waste reduction through recycling, but also to providing employment opportunities to those in our province with dis disabilities. That's why I'm proud of our government's continued partnership with SARCAN. People ask, have asked me during this election campaign, what's your vision for the province? What's your vision? Well, we, we, we said when we released our platform a little while ago, a few days ago, we said our, our vision is really about economic growth. Our vision is that this province would be 1.1 million people by 2015, that we would be debt-free within a decade, that we would lead the country in economic growth, but that growth was not the goal. Growth was the means to the end. If this province is growing, whoever the government happens to be, it means the tax base is, is expanding and it means we have the capacity to, well, to support Sarkhan. We have the capacity uh, to help those who are most vulnerable among us. And I also said that our party's vision is that this province would lead the country in having the best quality of life for people with disabilities and for their families. Our vision is that Saskatchewan would be the most inclusive place in Canada for people of all ages who live with disabilities, for the best services and the best supports, the most dignity, the most opportunity. That's why we developed in concert with and listening to the sector, the Saskatchewan Assured Income for Disability program. You may have heard about it in the campaign. It's a separate income support system that would respond to the needs of those with disabilities. It used to be that they were on social assistance, that they would have to reapply. But their needs have been more of an income support than, than assistance. And so we made that change and we've committed in this election that if we get a chance to form the government, we want to actually increase the amount of income that those, uh, those individuals living among us who have, in, who have disabilities would be able to receive from government. We would actually provide an additional $100 a month for those in residential care and $300 more a month for those who are living independently and $400 for couples who are living independently. I think, Kevin, we, we chatted a bit this morning, I think there are people that work right here at Sarkin that will potentially benefit from th that help uh, and that, that income support. Over the past four years, our government has increased funding available through something Kevin just referenced called the Go Green Fund. It's meant to support environmental initiatives around the province. We've increased the amount of money in that fund by $40 million uh, because of innovative projects like this. We want to be there to support projects like this. And we were happy to provide $20 million uh, to Sarkhan in this year's budget and $4 million of a capital grant through Go Green Fund last year that could help uh, build this facility. But the credit, as always, doesn't 
rest with the government. It rests with all of you. Cabinet rests with you and your team. Uh, it rests with uh, the vision that SARC has had now for a, and SARCAN have had for a very, very long time. And we're proud to continue to work with SARCAN. We look forward to uh, continuing a very positive relationship. And we thank all of you for what you've built here and for the invitation to join you. Have a great day.